All right, what's going on, folks? Good evening out there. It is Earthmaster here. March 26, 2020, about 9.35 p.m. West Coast time out here in the lockdown state of California. And uh, a little bit later than what I wanted to uh, start, as far as an update video goes, but uh, it's all good. Better late than never, right? Uh, a lot of activity out there to discuss. Um, Texas out there been having quite a bit of earthquake activity um, over the past few months maybe the past couple years there's been some earthquake activity out there around the um, region that we've seen this 5.0 that struck this morning right around Pecos Texas we've seen quite a bit of activity over the years so this 5.0 is no surprise we'll get into that in just a little bit there's a little bit of a line of activity you guys see that line of activity out here um, stretching from the Caribbeans through parts of southern Mexico out into the Pacific there. Pretty interesting activity there. A lot of this is older earthquake activity, indicating the red rings. Uh, no major earthquakes down there, but uh, all 4.6s. Maybe an upper 4.7 there, but uh, pretty strange, <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, over here on this part of the globe there, we've seen that... Uh, Earthquake swarming going on over here around the Indonesia Islands area. The 6.1 struck there um, earlier. Not a major earthquake, but a moderate sized earthquake for that region. Um, pretty active, folks. I, I think we're on an uptick of uh, earthquake activity globally, so to speak. I mean, even looking over here through. Uh, this part of the globe here, you can see a line of activity there, a couple fours and quite a few fives there as well. Um, I do want to get down. It just, it's kind of strange, folks, looking at this image right here. I mean, it just looks odd. It looks out of place. It's not following the standard plate boundaries, so to speak, right? The uh, um, Pacific plate and the uh, South American plate. It just, it seems strange. A lot of weird activity, if you will, um, taking place out there. But it doesn't mean uh, it's the end of the world, right? I do want to zoom in a little bit closer to the Texas region here. This is the one-day all-magnitude earthquakes here from the USGS. Originally, this was set at a 4.7 magnitude earthquake there in western Texas. Uh, it was upgraded to a 5.0 earthquake. Um, Minotone, te Minotone, Texas, I believe is how you pronounce it there. Northwest of Pecos, Texas. We have seen, like I mentioned, we have seen some uh, minor earthquake activity within the Pecos region over the past few months, past couple years actually. I remember seeing some activity out here. So this is kind of a larger earthquake activity uh, that 5.0 is. Uh, in quite some time, although uh, earthquake activity out here in Texas is not, um, it's not really, it's no stranger, right? There, it happens. There's a lot of uh, plate tectonics being built up here, believe it or not. Fault systems being, uh, being at play here. I mean, you got the Rocky Mountains here to the north and uh, quite a bit of activity, Sierra Madre. What are they called? Sierra Madre Mountains down there in New Mexico. A lot of, uh, lot of mountain buildups out here. So I do want to look at the, or I do want to show you guys the uh, U.S. hazard map for this region here. And if you look, not really, right? Not, not necessarily really right in a spot where we would expect to see some seismic hazard activity out there in Texas but uh, it does happen the 1931 earthquake the Valentine earthquake there in Texas struck um, roughly within the same area folks as this uh, 5.0 that struck this morning I'll go ahead and read just a tad bit of information here on that. 
So this was a 6.5 magnitude earthquake that struck in Texas, folks. So imagine the 5.0 that was felt uh, throughout western Texas out there and in El Paso and uh, I'm sure New Mexico region as well and down into Mexico. A lot of folks feel the earthquakes a lot stronger and a lot further in distance out there due to the type of soil, the type of geology that's out there, the type of land that's out there so to speak. More further than uh, like say folks in California do. It's uh, felt on a broader region. In fact, the 1812 uh, New Madrid fault uh, rupture, the major earthquakes that took place out there, were, uh, were felt in parts of Texas as well. Hold on a second, folks. I got my guard dog out here barking at some stuff. Uh, anyway, here's a little bit of information that 6.5. It struck out there near Valentine, uh, no casualties, but uh, caused quite a bit of damage to homes and buildings in the town. Uh, it is the most powerful powerful earthquake to take place in Texas history. That's not a good sign when my dog starts growling. We're kind of keeping an eye on that. We'll, we'll see what's going on here. Anyway, um, every building in the town, excluding those made from wood, sustained damage there. Quite a bit of activity, uh, or quite a bit of damage there, folks. Um, from that 6.5, 1931. So big earthquakes can take place out there. Uh, not all that common. But uh, they definitely do take place there. Key up something here. Kind of got distracted with that, folks. Um, see if I can find this image here. Here is uh, a little bit of information from the USGS in regards to the 5.0 that struck this morning here. I'll go ahead and uh, zoom this up here a little bit. The March 26, 2020 M5.0 West Texas Earthquake occurred as a result of a shallow normal faulting about 40 kilometers west of the town of Minotone, Texas. The earthquake occurred within the interior of the North American plate, far from any plate boundaries, right? Way far from any plate boundaries. Uh, the preliminary focal mechanism solution for the earthquake indicates rupture occurred on a moderately dipping fault plane striking roughly east-west. Not going to go into a whole bunch of scientific words there. Uh, on August 1st, 1975, a magnitude 4.8 earthquake occurred approximately 30 kilometers to the south of this current earthquake. However, a detailed history of small, less than magnitude 3, earthquakes in this region is not well known because the region was not well covered by seismo uh, <laughs> seismo seism seismometers until recent years. Uh, locations. So yeah, there's a they go into a little bit detail folks about the human influence, right? With earthquakes out there. And we all know about fracking and uh, injection wells and, and the weakness, the weak spots out there in the earth, right? Uh, that does uh, produce earthquakes. There's no doubt. There's scientific proof right there. Uh, anywhere you look, there's scientific proof. Um, they state right here, making a, st a strong scientific case for a causative link between a particular human activity and a uh, particular sequence of earthquakes typically involves special studies devoted specifically to this question. Such investigations usually address the process by which the suspected triggering activity might be... Okay, so they're, you know, big words, big... It just, it's fracking, right? There's a little bit of fracking activities going on out there. Not 100% sure if this 5.0 was caused by fracking activities. We did look at the uh, satellite imagery 
of that 5.0 earthquake that struck in Texas earlier in my update video. But uh, there was only, there, there was a big one out there, but there wasn't a tremendous amount of them. So, it's hard to say, folks. Although, like I say, long before this fracking activity happened, there was earthquake activity out there. Quite a bit of earthquake activity. Like I mentioned, that 6.5. So, we'll just... Uh, We'll just play it by ear and hopefully everything calms down out there. Latest earthquake right here on the globe uh, is let's see here, five, four point five down here, uh, north of Australia into the Indonesia Islands region. Just a pretty active day, folks. I mean, look at this circle. It's almost like a horseshoe of activity here. You guys see that? It's a horseshoe of activity of activity it does follow the eastern pacific ring of fire over here but um just in an odd fashion i mean it's pretty uh pretty strange to see that type of shape out there of earthquakes following a uh, unusual pattern so to speak but uh anyway folks um i'm gonna jump off here see what my dog was barking about here it just kind of got me a little bit nervous now he's a good dog but man just don't 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 come onto my property, man, unless you want to lose a couple fingers. Um, we'll be out here on the live stream a little bit later, folks. I think uh, still got time. It's still pretty early, so have a good night, everyone. Please stay safe out there. Be prepared. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs>